Meantime, I want you to meet the guy who says, as the NFL is a brand, we'll go ahead and stick a fork in it. Uh, Genesco Sports Enterprises CEO says there's really no way of finding middle ground on this. John Tatum says the NFL brand as we know it is dead. Um, John, good to have you. You're not encouraged by what you're seeing or hearing, are you? Well, I, Neil, thank you for having me. I, I, I want to uh, restate, I don't believe the brand is dead. I think they're hurting the brand by continuing to go down this path. I think uh, all the players that, you know, dislike the president, uh, they could take away a lot of his ammunition simply by, by standing. And then he has nothing to tweet about. But they're not going to do that. And, and as you know, he has said the NFL has decided that it will not force players to stand for the playing of our national anthem. Total respect, disrespect for our great country. So for him, there is no middle ground here. So are they locked into a corner here? Because the owners, from what I understand, John, are not going to uh, try to force the issue. And if you don't force the issue, it becomes a remaining issue for fans who don't like it becoming an issue, right? Well, you're right. I mean, it's I, I think it's a little disappointing that the NFL didn't come out of these meetings with a clear uh, position on, you know, they need to stand or whatever, because they're coming up on next month uh, is a month that they deem salute to service. And uh, we're going to have Veterans Day on November 11th on uh, Saturday. And then the following day, Sunday, is a day of football. So they need to resolve the issue as it relates to the business piece of this because you've seen uh, viewership has dropped 20 percent over the past two years from a high water mark in 2015. Um, the core audience of the NFL is, is certainly a very patriotic uh, uh, consumer. And, well, surely uh, that's think, being relayed in these meetings, right, John? So if you had to be a you know, proverbial fly on the wall here, I mean, I'm sure that's being relayed to the players. The owners are reminding each other, no doubt about it, that, that, that their brand is on the line here. Uh, now, it, I'm sure there are other reasons beyond just this latest tempest uh, on, on dealing with the national anthem issue other factors at play but it doesn't look good i mean do they have like a you know a, a moment where they just say guys ratings go down revenues go down potentially your salaries go down or you go away i mean how blunt do you think it is behind closed doors well i think it's very blunt i think uh, you've got owners that obviously are in touch with uh the business aspect of it and both sides the owners and the players share in a 15 billion dollar a year pie that they want to keep growing and and keep expanding to 25 billion player salaries go up etc 97 percent of nfl fans uh are exposed to the product through what they see on tv and, uh, and you've got the average salary or income in the United States about $50,000 a year, and you've got players that are maybe making $50,000 a day. And when the customer or the consumer is perceiving that it's disrespectful to the flag and the soldiers and to the national anthem, right. and that narrative is being perpetuated by the president, then, you know, they're going to lose that, that battle. And, and I just think... You know, that if you talk about the brand of the NFL, the business of the NFL, the customer of the NFL, I think it's a very patriotic, uh, you know, supportive uh, uh, audience. And I think that there's a time and place for everything. And, and I wish that the owners and the players would take maybe Tuesdays, which are the day off, to, to focus on these things instead of that period during the national anthem. Because... I think the numbers don't lie, and yeah. you're seeing declines, and there's probably a lot of reasons for that, Neil, but uh, certainly this perceived lack of patriotism, uh, perception is reality in the marketing world, and I think it's impacting the brand, and yeah. it's going to no, impact I didn't, the no, business. You're, you're undeniably right. I mean, there's been an impact here. Uh, John Tatum, Genesco Sports Enterprises CEO. Thank you, my friend.